it's Lindsay here with Pilates On Demand. Today we're gonna hit some spicy abs with the gliders and the mini Pilates ball. So I would suggest having a mat or a towel, something to pad your tailbone, and you want it pretty much behind you. You're gonna sit near the front edge of it. Let's get right into it. <laughs> and then place the gliders down. You can put one glider under each heel. We're nice and close to the edge of the mat so that we're able to pull that glider all the way towards our butt. Now the ball's gonna go at your mid-low back and you can adjust it. There isn't really like a wrong position to put the ball in, uh, so feel free to move the ball around. What we wanna look at in the spine is remembering that there's two different things. There's a bone, a joint movement, and then a muscular movement. So the first thing we're gonna do is slightly tuck our hips. So the hip bones, the bony parts, are moving towards our chest. That's gonna put us in a, a contracted position in the pelvis. So that's the joint movement, the tuck. Now you also have to pull your stomach muscles into the body. That is the muscular movement. I'm already getting warm from doing that, okay? So we wanna keep those two things the whole time for good form here. So shoulders down, we have the tuck and the belly in. Joint, muscle. Okay, here we go. Arms are reaching forward. We're gonna start with the right leg. The right leg's gonna pull in. You're gonna do a little crunch into that right leg. And then as the right leg glides out, you're gonna lower back to neutral. So not laying all the way back into an extended position, but more like head, chest, and hips make a line. So we have the scoop of the pelvis, the belly in, we curl up as that right leg glides to us. And then we roll the leg back out, breathe out, Lift into the curl, inhale, lower. So as we exhale, let's breathe through the mouth. So it's audible. And then inhale, we're gonna breathe through the nose. Exhale, we lift up, pull the abs in deeper, really work the muscular action there. Inhale, lower making sure we're not leading with the shoulders and the arms as we curl up, like something like that. We don't wanna do that, so we're gonna keep the chest nice and open the whole time. I'm really putting the work in the core, which is a lot of mind work. So we have to think about what we're trying to use in the body in order to fire it. Starting to get a little warm in the stomach area. And this should be a very slow, controlled movement. So thinking three counts to curl in, and the same on the way out, three counts to curl out. So we wanna make sure that the release of the movement is just as challenging. So you really are holding your abs in as the leg leaves and the chest lowers back. Left heel, left hip, the non-working leg, it's still kind of working. It's pushing down into the floor to help us create stability so we're not falling over onto our right side. Okay, we're gonna go for four more here. Good, the length in the neck and the back of the neck is there. It's like your ears are pointy like elf ears. I love that analogy reaching up in the back of your head. Okay guys, we're gonna hold this one in. You're gonna move in an inch and out an inch. So you can see that your knee and your chest are moving in an inch and out an inch, but this is really from the core. So contract the abs to pull the knee and chest together, release, contract, release. We still have that scoop of the pelvis that we started with. And every time I come up into the crunch, I'm trying to deeper, deepen the belly connection. <sighs> okay, we're gonna do 10 more a little quicker for 10, nine, eight, seven. We're not leaving this position, so don't rush out of it for five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Twist to the right, grab the outside of the right thigh with the left hand right hand behind your head. We're gonna pulse the leg as we rotate through the waist. So we're twisting to the right, 
Let's get the shoulders out of it, so make sure it doesn't look like you're throwing your shoulders. Do less. Doing less in Pilates is gonna be a lot more effective. Making the range of motion smaller, really thinking about where it's coming from. So on this movement, the left leg is really important. We're pushing the supporting leg down so that we don't fall onto the right side. Okay, let's do 10 quicker. 10, nine, eight, seven, getting spicy. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, forearms down, straighten the leg, take a breath. <sighs> and we're gonna do that to the left. So now your right heel is down, the right hip is heavy. So that, like I said, the supporting leg still has some work to it. Find your scoop, pull the belly in, arms are forward, open the collarbone. Okay, so we're taking that to the left. The left knee's gonna glide in, we're gonna crunch up, and then we're gonna glide the leg out and lower down to neutral. So these are full range curls into the crunch and neutral. So we see that the left knee and the chest are moving, but something that's harder to see is what's happening in the stomach. So when we're doing the crunch, we're sucking the abs back in. So the pelvis evenly weighted from right to left, and then also making sure you don't have a hip hike as you draw the leg in. So you shouldn't feel like your left hip crunches up on the left side. Hip bone to hip bone should make one line across the waist, as you come up into the abdominal curl. Good. Nice work, guys. Breathing out as we come up through the mouth, breathing in through the nose as we lower down. I can feel that ball getting sweaty. <laughs> That's why I got my sticky. I was prepared. Okay, thinking about the form in the ribs. They're coming together as we curl up on the exhale. They close around that spine for stability. And then the inhale, they expand a little bit. Okay, let's go for four more. For four. And three. We're gonna come into the pulses in two. Okay, hold it up on one. We're gonna move back an inch and together an inch. Back an inch, together an inch. Every time you come towards the knee, use the belly, pull it in to bring the knee closer to you. Give me that audible exhale, and we're gonna pick the pace up for 10 right here. For 10, nine. Eight, seven, good work. Six, five, four, three, two, hold on one. Twist left, right hand grabs the outside of the left thigh, left hand behind the head. You're gonna pulse again with the left leg as we now rotate. So you can see that I'm using my right leg and my right oblique to stabilize so I don't fall onto the left. Tuck the pelvis, pull the abs in. Let's do 10 more quicker and tighter. 10, nine, eight, seven, abs in, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, forearms down. That was something. I'm starting to get sweaty. So I'm bringing in the sticky. Okay, so guys, we are gonna now use, hopefully this idea worked. We are gonna now use both legs. So we're reset, we just took a little break. Let's reset the form though. So don't just jump right back in. Find the scoop, pull the belly in. Both legs. Inhale, we lean back, legs are long. Now when we lean back, we don't arch the lower back, right? We keep the tuck. Belly in, and then we're gonna curl up and bring the gliders to us. Inhale, we glide back. Exhale, we curl up. 
sort of finding the shake in the waist. <sighs> okay, like we have suspenders on or we're pulling our pants on when we pull the knees to us and the pants are really tight. So we have to draw the stomach in to get them on. I know we've all done that. Or something I feel a lot these days because high-waisted pants are trendy. Like when you sit down, you're like, you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, I look great, I'm so cute. And then you sit down and you're like, holy crap, I can't breathe. Or you get in the car, you have to unbutton them. It's like insane. But then you pull up to ballet and you have to really quickly zip up. <laughs> I do speak from experience. That has happened recently. I was like, wait, I wasn't prepared for this. I thought I was gonna street park and have a moment. But no, not in Los Angeles. Anyways, side note, back to the abs. <laughs> Even though that was kind of about them. And to distract you from the million reps we're gonna do. Let's do five more for five. And four. For three. And two, we're gonna do pulses now. So pull the legs in. You're out an inch, in an inch. So don't just do the movement that you can see. Suck your core in when you pull the gliders to you. You'll get way more out of it. That's why I'm talking us through the workouts rather than playing music over it. I think sometimes when we play music over it, I mean, it can be fun, it's not a bad thing to do. But if we're really trying to deepen our awareness of our body, and that's what I think Pilates is about. It's important to hear the cues. Okay, 10 faster. 10, nine, eight, breathe out. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Glide it out, take a breath. We're gonna alternate legs in the same movement, kind of like a bicycle variation. Okay, so arms are forward. You're going to lean back on your inhale. Right leg glides in, we twist to the right. Glide it out, left leg glides in, we twist to the left. You remember, even though the other leg is not working, it is. It's pushing down to keep us from falling. Also option with the hands, you can take them behind your head, which is gonna make it a little bit more challenging. <laughs> Sometimes it helps the neck though, and sometimes it strains it. So it's all up to you. Feel into your body. For me, that just feels like it's putting um, a little strain on my neck and shoulders today. So I'm gonna keep the arms forward. And you can switch between the two. Okay, so remember, when we twist, really turn the upper body. Sometimes I see people just turn your chest and not the head, so we wanna get that full upper body to rotate, um, not just for the oblique work, but also this is good for your back health, getting some twisting in the spine. Okay guys, we're gonna double it up. So both legs come in, we twist right, glide it out. Both legs come in, we twist left, glide it out. Remember not to lead with the shoulders, so keep the front of your chest open. So don't overreach with the arms like that. <sighs> Leaning back, coming up and twisting. Okay, slow on the release. Good work, guys. <sighs> I haven't played around with the gliders in a while. They're so fun. Okay, let's go eight more for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Okay, hold the twist to the left and then up and over to the right. Up and over to the left. You're stabilizing. Keep the ball and the glider still. Hold the C curve. Turn the waist. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, come to center on one. We're pulsing in an inch and out an inch. To advance, you're gonna reach the arms up on a high diagonal, drop the shoulders down. So don't let them puff up, okay? Tight little pulses. Breathing out. Every time you exhale, your core pulls back into the body. Chest lifting up and over those ribs. Let's really find the shake. This is our burnout right here. And then we take it into a plank. So I want you to close your eyes and connect. So the movement's not, the movement's not heavily choreographed, right? We got the movement down. Keep going with it. Let it shake. We're going to failure, okay? Little pulses. Failure with good form though, right? We have the scoop. Abs and ribs pull in. Arms are up and we're pulsing that chest. Let's try to go for 30 more. Think smaller and tighter, really isolate the waist. 20. 15. Go deep for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Stretch over the ball for a hot second. So, did we feel that? <laughs> We're gonna go into a plank now. Whoa, if I can sit up. Wow, I got some sweat going on. Okay, so still needing the gliders off the mat. The ball's gonna go in between our knees. So a lot of times in a modified plank lately, I've seen people kind of like be in a funky position in their legs. So let's work having really good form in the legs in our modified plank. So the ball's between the knees, hug the ball, and use it to turn your knees slightly in, so then we're really parallel. And then when we come into our modified plank, sorry, I need to fold this, it's bothering me. When we come into our modified plank, we'll be in good form. Okay, so we are near the edge, gliders underneath the hands now. So right, we don't want the feet together and the knees apart. Knees hug in, knees and feet line up, Hands underneath the shoulders. Scoop the pelvis, extend the chest. So what I want you to be careful about here for when we do this move is when you slide the arm out, the shoulder elevates. Keep your shoulder down off your neck and then pull the glider back in. So start with singles. You're gonna glide the arm out on your inhale. Shoulder has not lifted up and then exhale, pull it in and we're gonna alternate. Left arm glides out, squeezing the ball for stability and then exhale, pull it back in. So we're gonna do a couple more of these just to get the mechanics of the movement. Right arm glides out, pull from underneath your armpit and glide the arm back in. So you're using your back muscles. So you can of course stay with this one. We're gonna do two more. Uh, the next one is a lot harder, so it's a big jump to go from the, this one to the next one. But if you're ready for it, Pause for a moment, spin your elbows to your body, shoulders are down, both legs, both arms glide out, and then both arms pull in. It's a lot harder. <laughs> Inhale, we glide it out. Exhale, we pull it in. Making sure you're keeping good form in the arms. So when I'm here, my shoulders haven't elevated. I'm saying that a hundred times, because that's usually what I see happen here. Inhale to glide, squeeze the ball, Squeeze the abs and we pull it in. Inhale out. Exhale in. This is kind of like that old school ab roller move. Woo! Okay, we're gonna do four more. Four. Nice long neck. Three. Two, last one, one. 
Okay, we're gonna hold the extended plank, so glide it out. Wrap your tricep towards your knees, squeeze the ball, tuck the pelvis, release. So the movement we did at the beginning of class to start the ball abs, tuck the hips under, release. Upper body is stabilizing. Ball is squeezed. Every time you tuck the pelvis under, you're taking your abs and you're pulling them deeper into the body. Tuck and exhale. We're doing many reverse crunches here. Many and many. M-I-N-I and M-A-N-Y. M-A-N-Y? <laughs> Clearly, I need to use a uh, spell check. <laughs> Tuck under and release. Let's go for 10 and pick it up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, glide the gliders in, tuck your toes, find your high plank. Okay guys, we're gonna glide the gliders out just a little bit, so you're in more of an extended plank. Extended means the hand's not right underneath the shoulders, right? So a little forward, wrap your elbows back, push your heels back, and then tucking the pelvis under. Scoop, tuck, scoop, tuck. Shoulders down, don't let your face fall to the floor. Pull the face away from the ground and look slightly in front of the gliders to keep the neck long. So let's pick the speed up, have really good intention in the core, pulling it in deeper and deeper. My gliders wanna take me for a ride. So we're gonna really squeeze those abs into the body and fire them up here. The ball is keeping the legs in good alignment. Give me that exhale as you tuck the pelvis. Thinking of the rib cage and the front of the pelvis coming together. Good work. Okay, let's do 20 more right here and pick it up. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, close your eyes, lift your core. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, knees down. Wow, I'm really sweating today. This is something. Okay, I've got one last move for you guys, and it's kind of the opposite direction. So, ball still in between the knees. Feet are gonna be on the gliders. I'm gonna push the mat a little further out. Make sure I have space behind us. Okay, so it's a plank, feet on the gliders, ball between the knees. I might have just left frame, but that's okay. Okay, my hands are gonna come underneath my shoulders on a mat or the floor is fine. Triceps wrap towards the body. We have the ball between the knees and the feet on the gliders. <laughs> Squeeze the ball, bring your knees to you, right underneath your hips, and then glide them back out, okay? without moving your chest forward, okay? So shoulders over wrists, pull from your lower body, and then glide it out. Squeeze the ball, squeeze the abs. <sighs> Exhale in and inhale out. <sighs> Looking good, guys. <sighs> Making sure we're pulling the hands towards the feet actively and that's gonna keep our shoulders from elevating. Okay, let's go five more. And four. For three. And two. Okay, next one, the legs are gonna stay in. Knees bent under the hips. You're gonna tap the floor with your knees, squeeze the ball to lift. Tap the floor with the knees, squeeze the ball to lift. So the knees are right under the hips, and you're basically just lifting one inch up, so it's not high. And I want you to think of, as you squeeze the ball, you, it translates into your stomach and your pelvic floor. Inner thighs, pelvic floor, low abs. All pulling up, 10. Nine, eight, 
seven. Even when the legs are lifted, do not let them straighten. And five, almost there. Four, three, two, hold it at the top on one. Give me little ball squeezes in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold the squeeze, tuck the pelvis, release. This is where you finish. Scoop the hips, release. So not a full cat cow, just from your pelvis. Reverse crunch, release. Give me that exhale. Exhale, tuck. Squeeze that ball really tight. We have 10, nine. This is where you finish. So really go hard on your focus. Eight. How hard are you squeezing that ball? Could I pull it out from in between your legs? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. Good work. Okay. I am really sweating. I told you guys it was going to be spicy. Okay, slide the equipment aside, get your mat, and let's give the abs a little love. So bring it to all fours. We're going to do some cat cows. Shoulders are down. And let's focus on the extension. So we did a lot of flexion, which is this rounding. So let's take the body in the other direction. Tilt your hips up. Lift your chest up, pull your back muscles down. So making sure we're not sitting in this, yeah? Breathe into it, stretch your waistline. Good, and then exhale, push the floor away and stretch the back out. Inhale, arch. And exhale, round. Let's take that one more time. Breathe in and arch. Breathe out and round. Okay, come all the way down to your belly. So if your back extension is a little tight, forearms down for sphinx pose. Push down into the forearms, open the chest, tilt the tailbone to the heels. Okay, if you have more mobility in the back, we'll do cobra. So hands outside the head, shoulders are down, and let's press up. And just hold this position. Take a couple deep breaths. Pushing the floor away, lifting the heart up. And allowing the stomach to be a little softer here after all of that contraction. Okay, we're gonna rock right and left, doing a little twist through the hips. You can bring the hands closer to you if you wanna go a little deeper. Good, let's take it two more times. Last one. Okay, push it back. Let's do a low lunge on each side to finish. The hip flexors sometimes really take it when we do abs, so this will help. So left foot forward, stack the knee over the ankle and make sure your toes point straight forward. Hands to the inside of the foot and back your right knee up. Now if you want more hip flexor, usually coming up higher actually helps. So drop your hips and lift your chest up. Oh yeah, I can feel that. <laughs> and then we're gonna switch. So step the right heel underneath the knee, toes point straight forward, back knee should point straight down. And we're gonna lift up through the chest and the core. Good, and then step it in. Good work, you guys. We did it. I hope that you felt some spice and had fun and learned something new about your core. Maybe you could go a little bit deeper today, but still keep it challenging. Have a great day. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.